Today I'm gonna add MSG to cocktails and see whatever cocktails with monosodium glutamate are better or not. Monosodium glutamate is a white powder similar to salt, which dissolves well in water and gives the taste of umami, the so-called meat flavor. That's why it is called flavor enhancer. I tried to choose different types of cocktails with different spirits, margaritas with tequila, negronis with gin, and cuba libre with rum and cola and lime. I'll make three versions of each of these cocktails with MSG, with salt, and without anything. There are many legends that glutamate is harmful to the body. Japanese scientist Hiroshi Oguro in 2002 fed rats with monosodium glutamate in the amount of 20% of dry weight of all the food they consumed. It lasted for six months and he found that the rats had vision loss and thinning of uh, their retina, but even Oguro admits that he used several orders of magnitude more glutamate than it is possible with normal consumption and states that consumption in small amounts is acceptable. So just like regular salt, you don't have to eat it by the spoonful for breakfast, lunch and dinner and you'll be fine. For experimental accuracy I made glutamate solution and salt solution. I added 20 grams of salt per 80 milliliters of water and 30 grams of MSG per 70 milliliters of water. Then I stirred it and here are the solutions. If you need to know how many ounces it is, convert it yourself, because I'm to be honest, I'm <laughs> tired of imperial system. Hit like and let's begin. Let's make the margarita. Three shakers, basic recipe, without any simple syrup or agave, but with the increased amount of orange liqueur. Into each of three shakers add tequila, two ounces or 60 milliliters, triple sec or Cointreau, one ounce, 30 milliliters into each shaker, and lime juice, 22 milliliters or three quarters of an ounce, which I've pressed separately. To the first shaker goes the saline solution, six to seven drops. To the second shaker, MSG, also about that much. And to the third, nothing. Fill all three shakers with ice and shake it as simultaneously as possible, dedicating these three shakes to these three comments. Now take three glasses, these are martini glasses, not margaritas, but who cares. Mark them with three different colors and fine strain the cocktails. Now let's try it. First, the regular margarita. Tastes like margarita. Okay, it's a basic margarita flavor. Now salt. Hmm, it has a brighter flavor. It's not salty at all, but uh, if you compare these two, it's like someone turned the saturation up a little bit. Now let's try MSG. My prediction is that it's gonna taste as exactly like the salty one. It's hard to say because uh, they are pretty similar, the salt one and the MSG one, once again. The taste of the regular margarita is the most dull. So these two are much more interesting. No meaty flavor, it's just a brighter flavor of the cocktail. What about this one? I'd say they are pretty much the same. So I can't say that uh, the MSG is better than the salt one, but you definitely need to add either MSG or salt. To the next cocktail. Next up is a Negroni. We can't have a Negroni without a Negroni. I'll mix gin, Campari and sweet vermouth in together with ice in this mixing glass, strain to individual glasses and add our solutions there. So to the mixing glass add sweet vermouth, three portions, London dry gin, also three parts, and Italian bitter liqueur. You can use Campari or whatever you like, I'm using this one. The same amount as everything else. Fill the mixing glass with ice and stir thoroughly to chill and dilute the cocktail, dedicating this stir to this comment. Label three old-fashioned glasses with colors, put beautiful ice balls, <laughs> balls, and strain the cocktail to the glasses. Now add saline solution to the orange one, about six to seven drops, MSG to the red one, also six to seven drops, and a pinch of air to the blue one, so it doesn't feel left out. Stir once more. 
Now let's have a taste. Let's start with the regular one. Okay, this is a Negroni, definitely a Negroni. The salt one. Mmm, the taste changed pretty drastically. More so than in the margarita. It became less bitter and the flavor of vermouth and maybe gin are more pronounced. Okay, did not expect that. And now the MSG one. Oh, the sweetest of them all. Seriously? Yes, the MSG one is sweeter. So now there is the difference between red and orange, MSG and salt, and I prefer the variation with the MSG. It's sweeter, it's uh, more, more pronounced, more bright. Uh, the salt one is not bad at all. So if you don't have MSG, add salt. But if you want a little bit less bitterness and uh, more uh, more of vermouth and gin flavors, you can add either add less Campari or add MSG. And the third trio of cocktails, Cuba Libre. I'm not going to stir this cocktail, I'm just going to put the cocktails together using the build method in the highball glass with ice. So fill each glass with ice and pour one ounce or 30 milliliters of white rum. Our freshly squeezed lime juice, about 10 to 15 milliliters in each glass. Okay, a little bit more of white rum, one and a half ounce or 45 milliliters in each glass. Label the glasses. Add saline solution to the red one. MSG to the orange one, about seven drops. And top up with cola. A little bit more ice, because ice shouldn't float. Stir a little bit. And let's taste it. The regular one. Okay, it's a, it's a Cuba Libre. Okay. The salt one. Hmm. Definitely brighter, sweeter, more pronounced. This one is better. And the MSG one. I wouldn't say it's better than the salt one. Maybe... Yeah, I prefer the salty one. They are pretty much identical, but uh, the salty one, uh, I think it's a little bit sweeter. So let me try one more time. Yeah, not very nice. The most dull version is the regular version. Salt is good. Almost a draw between the MSG and salt. Maybe just by a technicality, the salt one wins this round. What are the conclusions? MSG does noticeably enhance the flavor, but I didn't feel any particular difference with salt. That is, you can add it and the effect is there, but it is easier to add a regular saline solution. Besides, it is easier to buy salt in the grocery store. The only place MSG might have been better is in the margarita, because it already traditionally has a more savory flavor. Perhaps MSG would also go into vegetable cocktails like Bloody Marys, but salt is added to them anyway, so the difference is unlikely to be significant either. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Join my YouTube membership or become my patron or subscribe to my Instagram and other social media. The recipes in text form are on my website, dr-cork.com. The link is in the description, but what the recipes? I mean, add salt to water. <laughs> That's it. You can watch my other videos like this one about how to start a home bar and what alcohol to buy, or this one on how to make cocktail cherries and all this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, drink responsibly, and as always, the Svidos.